Hi, Chili Heads. This is Claude Dubé. Today, another pod review. Uh, this time, I will be uh, having a uh, chocolate maruga. Uh, these are a few that I've uh, grown in my uh, my own garden, and of course, I'll be using a nice fat one for the review. So, I've got a few of those uh, already. Uh, as many know, and as I can tell, uh, this is pretty odd. <laughs> so, anyway, we're going to get cracking. So, let's get the tail off. Now, we're just going to split this in two. Oh, boy. It's definitely oily in there. It's all shiny. If you can see there. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you can see all that shine from the oil it's the same thing the other half mm. there you go see how shiny that is right into the uh, into the pepper and all the oil okay so cheers Mmm. Mmm. I like that because it's very sweet. Second half. Mmm. 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 Wow. The heat is kicking in now. Mmm. Wow. Very, very sweet. Mmm. not getting or hardly getting any bitterness from the pepper well that heat is coming up right now ooh, ooh, ooh. front of the mouth it's the inside of the lips you know like between the gums and hmm very hot tip of the tongue Tip of the tongue is really uh, burning right now. Slowly rising, going towards the back of the mouth. Hmm. Hmm. Still mostly the uh, the front of the mouth that is. Uh, Burning right now. Hmm. I love the flavor of that. It's very, very, very sweet. Hmm. Oh. It's coming up in the throat. It's now in the back here. It's rising. Temperature is rising. Mmm. <laughs> now those are definitely, you know, real hot peppers. The front of the mouth is still rising as well. The gums, the palate. Now, the palate is really, uh, you know, the front of it. It's really burning. Tip of the tongue. Now oh, it's about halfway into the tongue. Mm. That's the lips. It's not the, uh, the surface of the lips itself. It's the inside of them. You know? mm. Of course. 
course, now I'm starting to feel it in the uh, in the stomach. Hmm. Oh yeah, very intense. I mean, you're getting some burn, some of the burn, you know, into the throat, but it's mainly the front of the mouth that's really uh, burning. Hmm. Just try to avoid it, uh, touching myself because, of course, I don't use uh, gloves when I handle those. You know, as long as they're not cut, it's no problem. But as soon as I cut them in two, I have to be very careful, especially if you know fingers touch the uh, the inside of the pepper. Mm. Yeah, getting a bit of sweat underneath the uh, on the upper lip. Hmm. Okay, it's pretty much top tough now. It's even starting to uh, come down. Mm. Pretty intense, bear. All the front of the mouth there really ignites. Uh, at some point, you do get kind of a nice burn uh, building in the throat, but you no, know, it just tops real fast. Though it's quite a solid burn. <laughs> Now it has uh, pretty much tough, tough. Hmm. It's starting to come down. I mean, most of the intensity is still in the front of the mouth, inside the lips, the gums, the tip of the tongue, the front of the palate. As of the rest, uh, it's pretty uh, tolerable now. Hmm. So uh, chocolate maruga. This is pretty intense stuff. Again, it's very sweet. So using this uh, and your everyday cooking uh, would not uh, change your, the flavor of your foods much, though it will rise the heat, of course. So uh, very good pepper. Really enjoyed that. So that's another one that I'll uh, put to work uh, next year in the next garden. Uh, I like peppers that are not too bitter, uh, so very good, very good. Uh, chocolate maruga, if you have a chance to grow these, uh, if you like them uh, real hot, but without too much, you know, uh, of a catchy flavor, uh, so it won't, uh, you know, be overwhelming in the food you use it with. Uh, chocolate maruga is a very good choice. Of course, very intense. Uh, usual Joe's uh, should stay away. Uh, pretty hot stuff. So, uh, well, this is it for the Maruga. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, you take care and bye-bye.